Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. We are going to discuss gold. We are going to have non-form payroll uh, news outcome and then uh, we are going to have huge, huge volatility. Unfortunately, the 15 minute chart set charting setup that we did for gold did not work on last video. We were expecting that this has already wave 1 and this is going to be wave 2 and then you will fall down. As we can see clearly that that did not work out, that's not the case. That does not mean that our long term analysis, where I have already clearly stated that we are going to see price movement further down somewhere around 1550, 1560 area, is not going to happen. We have seen the corruption has been going on for almost two weeks right now and uh, these are about nine to ten trading days that's exactly two weeks of trading and then we have not seen gold moving up anywhere it just moved sideward so I changed my uh, 15 minute or smaller uh, correction labeling where you can see wave A I'm considering this as wave B and this as wave C the critical point still stands at right at 19 uh, 1910 and let me have a look once again yeah 1902 actually 1902 is critical st uh, stop loss area if you want to have a good comfortable trade you can actually put you should push your stop loss back if it was close right over here the reason is because lots of volatility is expected and we are if you I have personally joined uh, a trend which is not a huge huge trade but good enough for myself and I'm already in a bearish trend so I'm in the market expecting that gold is going to go further down we have hardly completed uh, it looks like now if you look like we hardly completed wave 1 2 3 and 4 and as I guess I'm expecting further prices down let's have a look a quick labeling of Elliott wave so we can consider this as wave 1 and this as wave 2 and this as wave 3 and this as wave 4 and then you are going further down in 5 not here this is not the target the target on a daily time frame let's bring it right over here is right over here and the target is going to take more time as we have already spent more time in the correction I'm expecting that the target is now going to take more time still it does not mean that it's going to take months and months or weeks and weeks still two to three weeks time period that I've been saying only that I uh, we were expecting that two time that time period has already started right from here but now we need to start that time period side right from over here so I would say three weeks time period is good enough for that trade target to hit and that is right around 1560 1580 50 area let's have a look at silver quickly and let's see what silver has done on four hourly chart we want to see the pattern it looks like the silver silver might have created already a, a top right here the larger trend is still bearish we might see a one push up further down but still silver is in much better condition uh, actually they're both in a good condition gold and silver and they're both heading down potential target for silver I'm not giving away what's happening on a longer term after gold I'm not giving that away what happens after five wave structure for that you'll have to uh, just keep coming back and then there might be a possibility that analysis after this strong price movement I would stop uh, the free analysis so there's a good possibility for that that's the reason I want to keep things quiet um, I had a comment and which was very, very nice comment I'm I really am thankful to the person uh, if a proper elitician sees the video he would clearly understand that this is not Elliott wave analysis but that means that does not mean that I'm not going through the process of doing Elliott wave analysis I go through a lot of process it a lot of research is is gone when I want to present my idea I just want to present it in simple word I do not present the whole process of uh, analysis alright so I simply do the labeling and give important support and resistance area that does not mean that only I'm just putting the few numbers and uh, although it looks like that it does not mean that I'm just putting few numbers and letters I'm following all different guidelines and characteristics or and properties of different Elliott wave analysis and different Elliott wave uh, Elliott waves in themselves and then I'm also uh, looking at general uh, technical analysis and I'm using all of that and coming making an analysis and then putting it on and try to explain it in simple words uh, because lots of people are believe me almost probably 90% of people who come here are not aware of what is Elliott wave analysis or they're not at deeply into Elliott wave analysis so I respect all of the comment I really appreciate please keep coming back as far as once again my analysis is concerned I'm bearish on gold clearly bearish on silver uh, price target initial price target for for gold is 1560 
all right what happens after that as i said we'll discuss what after, uh, after that what when we see that for silver our initial target is going to be right now it's around 26 if let me see if i can zoom further in so the end of the range with there's this range it was mm, let's see what the range was so this range is the initial target just 22 dollar that's the initial target for silver and what happened we'll just we'll see more things after that so wish you good luck with trading today is gonna be very important day and wish you good luck have a good one